Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to Monterey on tonight. And tonight's a special night because this is show number 80. Yay! And this is my co-host for tonight. She's going to be with me all the way till 9 o'clock. And her name is Kim Bartholomew. Correct. Did I say you it You did right? it. You got it. Oh, my yes, goodness. congrats. Because we wrote it down uh -huh. wrong it's initially. Okay. It's okay. It's a lot of But comments. now it's all right. Yep. See? Mm -hmm. B-A-R-T-H-O-L-O-M-A-Y. Yep. We got it right. So good. And Kim's in real estate. You can see down there it says Realtor Monterey Coast Realty. And not only is she in real estate, but she's also a board member of one of my favorite favorite charities here on the Central Coast in Monterey. It's called Peace of Mind Dog Rescue. And we met at the Peace of Mind Dog Rescue benefit dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Lucky Dog Gala. The Lucky Dog Gala it's they have every year. Fundraiser. How long have you been on the board? Uh, less than a year. Yeah, ah. I was asked last year to be on the board. I've been volunteering since 2020. So you I've must been, love animals. Oh, yes. Do you yes. have a dog? I have three. You have three I have three. Dogs. Three dogs. What kind are they? Um, they are just mixes. mixes. So small, medium, and large. Well, yep. what you guys are doing with Peace of Mind Dog Rescue, and we're going to talk a lot tonight about Peace of Mind Dog Rescue because after that benefit that I attended and how great it was, it's one of my favorite charities now. It really is. Yeah, it's hard not to be. And there. what the wonderful things that you guys do, it was explained to me when Carrie was here, mm -hmm. that if there's an elder person that has to go into assisted care and can't take their animal with them, Peace of Mind Dog Rescue finds foster parents. Yeah, and forever homes, and they'll be in our care until the end of their time. So. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, Kim. <laughs> I tell you, I mean, I've there's a lot of charities, but that one got yeah. me right here in the heart. Uh, yeah, it's a special one. For special. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, Kim's gonna be here. We're gonna play a special concert tonight. You know, I go and dig and dig and dig for concerts, and they're not really easy to find. Ones that number one appeal to me because, you know, they're people that are up in age now or they may have passed on already. But this lady is still with us. In fact, they did a play on Broadway for this lady. The play was called Beautiful, and maybe you know our concert for tonight is none other than Carol King. Have you heard of yeah, Carol King? I want to say yes. <laughs> when you hear her okay. music, she wrote so many hits. From the 60s and the 70s, and my goodness gracious, Carol King is our concert for tonight. So we're going to get started right now with the music, because we do that. We play music, and then we come back and jabber a little bit. So we're going to be talking, Kim and I are going to be talking about whatever, maybe the real estate business, because she was out today. Doing an open house. Open doing house. my job. That was Just your job. There. On a Sunday, working. on Easter, she was yep. working on Looking Easter. Looking like a full basket of Easter eggs <laughs> myself. Here I am. How fun was that? Anyway, was the Easter Bunny there? Did anybody come and look for Easter eggs at your uh, no, open house? No, that's a great idea for next year. Yeah, there you I'm go. I'm write that down. Thank you. You can, you you can use that one. Mm -hmm. Come and have the Easter egg hunt at our open house with Kim Bartholomew. <laughs> It's cute. Isn't that great? It's cute. Okay. Let's go see Carol King with Dylan. Dylan's going to get us started, and then we'll be back after a couple of songs from Carol. You know, uh, she and I have a connection now. We started talking real estate, and she said, where did you find out all of that information? Yeah, Gary's got the hot gossip, everybody. I know what's happening. He's got all the juicy deets. That's it. The juicy yep. details. Mm -hmm. Off. Off camera. Off camera, yeah. Yeah, the, during the breaks. Yes, the thing that most people don't know, Gary gets to find out and, by doing this show. Oh, yes. Yeah, is that, is that <laughs> That's it? How it That's happens. great. That's how it happens. We start kibitzing back here when the camera's off, and I find out some really interesting stuff. That was really interesting what you just told me. <laughs> Mind she blown. said, 
that was real. Where did you get that information? I said, well, I have my sources. Uh-huh. Yep. You're in the know. <laughs> I'm in the know. Maybe I should have been involved in real estate. Or, or People what? Magazine. Or Yeah, People Magazine. <laughs> That's a good one. I yes. like that. Or. Yeah. The night that uh, that my friend, Nicole mm -hmm. Truskowski, was on the show, uh, she came up with a line that I really like to use when I'm on this show now. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. <laughs> Let's have Let's a party. Let's have a party. Nicole's great. Yeah. She's great. We, uh, we turn this little episode, Mama Ray on tonight, into a fun evening and that's my magic word it's f-u-n and that's why i'm doing this show and i just told kim that's the only reason i do this show is to have fun really yeah. honestly yeah you said kim my name's gary and do you want to have some fun and i said okay and then and then i'm now i'm here <laughs> now she and realizes fun. <laughs> yeah now she realizes why yes because gary's in the know I've told you earlier tonight, 80 shows, mm -hmm. 80 co-hosts, mm -hmm. right? Three guests per show times eight. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And a year and a half ago, I didn't know any of them. Yeah. They're all brand new people in my life. But I'll tell you, I've formed some great relationships. All new friends. All new friends. Can't have too many friends. I mean, that's right. And new ones. Yeah. I mean, you know, where do you find new friends? Mm -hmm. How do you find new Here. friends? On this show. Here. Absolutely. And going to the Peace of Mind Gal Dog Rescue yep. because that's where yep. I met uh -huh. you. Like minded. Yeah. Yep. I said, Would you like to be a co host and have fun? And I said, Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I said, what are you going to do for fun? You know what happens, Kim, when you're a teenager, when you're in high school or even college and you have your group of friends and everybody says, what are we going to do for fun this weekend? Right. As adults get older, that word fun goes away. It's not in their vocabulary anymore. So. Gary's bringing I don't it. believe oh. it for a second. Well, think about I it. Don't. Think about I it. I don't believe that for a second. Think about it. Some people, <laughs> no fun. Some people are no fun. That's right. But yes, but you ah, are a hoot. That's right. <laughs> and you're a pistol. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, we are having a ball. Okay, Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary Morris. This is Kim Bartholomew. I got it right. Got it oh, right. Oh, yeah, it's right. so good. And she's in real estate, and she's also on the board of the Peace of Mind Dog Rescue. And we're going to talk about that some more tonight. But right now, we're going to get back to a little bit more of Carol King mm -hmm. so that Kim can see if she mm -hmm. recognizes some of Carol's mm -hmm. songs. Because right now, at the very beginning, she's not too sure about Carol King's music. But she's going to hear some of Carol King's songs here coming up in this next two hours, three hours. Well, not f a full three hours, because at the end of the show now, Dylan's going to have his three videos mm -hmm. of today. Okay. So we stop playing Carol, and okay. then Dylan comes up with the three Dylan hits. Dylan comes up with Dylan's mega hits. That's it. Dylan's That's it. three mega hits. You know, hits. he introduced me to... <laughs> Is it a secret? Did you have to think about that for a second? <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'm so interested. Tell me. <laughs> it's a mind blower. Um... <laughs> Dylan Dylan who is my favorite new artist that you introduced me to um well now there's probably two people but two. Madison Beer and Billie Eilish see oh yeah they're great yes. and he's the one that played Billie Eilish's song mm -hmm. you know what, what, where was I what, what was I what was I made for what was I made mm, for so good isn't that a great song? So good. And you know, I predicted on this show before the Oscars that she was going to get the best song of the year, and she did. And she did. See, you got good taste. Yeah, I like the song. Yeah. And Madison Beer too. She's mm -hmm. oh, yeah, she's she's, great, she's too. great too. See, and a guy like me, mm -hmm. if I wasn't doing this show, mm -hmm. would I know who those people are? Oh, no um, way. How would I know? Because of Dylan. Well, yes, but Dylan wouldn't be here if I wasn't doing oh, this show. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that right, See, Dylan? You, you wouldn't be here if we weren't doing new. this show. Yep. 
So see what see all the stuff I learned by doing this show. Yeah, yeah. I got to put you on to somebody. Next break. Okay. Uh, we are going to go see some more Carol King right now, and then we'll be back with our first guest of the night, and that's going to be singer Susie Joyce. So uh, stay tuned for that. Here's more Carol King. And you are just getting back yep. in your chair because you went out to get a correction. I was of on our a next, timeout. Our next guest's name was misspelled. Oh, shame, shame, Dylan. It wasn't Dylan's fault. <laughs> no. It was Charlie. Charlie? Uh, our, our chief investigator that finds out all of the names of the people who are going to be just on this shot, show. You just did, blew them up. Did we spell your name wrong? We spelled your name wrong, mm -hmm. too. It wasn't B. Yeah. A R. Looks it's like B A R T H O L O M A Y. Poor Charlie. Poor Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's a tough job, though. You know, he does such a great job. Yeah. Really, because he gives me all of the bios mm -hmm. for everyone here, and, and there's a there's a great bio about you. Hey, What's, hey, where'd you find that? I don't know. Maybe the internet. <laughs> Kimberly is a California native born in the Bay Area and raised in the foothills of Sierra Nevada mountains. This is true. It's all true. All right. So, so let's keep true. going now. Let's see if it's all true. Oh, no. Her love of nature began early with hot summers at the lake and snow days spent sledding through That's the woods. That's my real estate bio. Uh, this is the real estate That's bio? That's from the real She has called Monterey Peninsula home for the last 12 years with her husband, a local business owner, whose name is? Noah. Noah. And he has a, his own business. We'll talk about that, too. Mm -hmm. And their small pack of rescue dogs yep. who enjoy every moment of life by the sea. We do. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? Three. Three dogs. What was that, Gary? You want me to get my phone and show you a picture of <laughs> yeah, my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the doggies. Wait, what was that? You want me to, to show let's you my babies? Get, let's get... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hold it up there. Uh, uh, well, I have another one. This is just the three of them. Oh, oh wait a minute. It went away. Oh, there they That's are. Atlas and Roman. Yeah. Hold on. You just and wait you're for on, this one. You, you are on 24-hour time. My goodness. Look at that. Yep. And who is that? Ella. That's Ella. Pink ears. Mm, and they're all rescues. All rescues, yep. Bless Two from heart. Peace of Mind, one from the SBCA. See how quick she was to go get her doggies' pictures? Yeah, well, that's important. You're on the it's yes, important yeah. And you, uh, through past work in aesthetics and emergency medicine, mm -hmm. Kim has developed a vast network of diverse and dynamic people who share her love for Monterey. Oh. <laughs> Did this come from the, the real estate? Yes. You're going to make me start estate. itching. Oh, what? I am? Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Blushing. You're, you're blushing? Yes. No. You can't tell I have so much makeup on. In her spare time, Kim connects with her passion for a community by teaching. Nope. I don't do that anymore. Oh, you don't do that anymore. So that was. Yeah, the, I have to update was in the it. Past. Thanks. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes when I, like I went to LinkedIn yeah. for one of my other guests, uh, uh, Katie Brizzoni. Uh, and I said, and you are Parsons and so. She uh -huh. went, oh, no. That. Yeah. I said, well, I got that on LinkedIn. Oh, yeah. well, I need to update my yes, LinkedIn. Yes, I need to update that. <laughs> the updated bio is coming soon. I Don't need worry. to update my LinkedIn. Anyway, can we talk about Peace of Mind Dog Rescue? Yes, my because favorite subject. Your favorite and my favorite. I know. Yeah. Peace of Mind Dog Rescue is an organization that, and I'll tell you why I connected with it so much, because of what they're doing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Isn't that great? Yes. Uh, what they're doing is, let's suppose that there's an elderly person that needs to go into assisted living, and they've got maybe an elderly dog, and they can't take the dog with them to the assisted care facility. So you guys, in peace of mind, you mm -hmm. take it over now. What do you do for these people? So when they come into our program, they go to a foster home. And from that foster home, that foster parent will then review applications that come in and find that dog their forever home. Isn't a dog, uh, did you hear what she said? That dog forever home. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we, we take care of them forever. So we also have our own vet um, that we... That's a full-time vet. Full-time vet. I met your new full-time uh -huh. vet at dinner. She yeah. was at my dinner table. Yeah. Yeah. So when you adopt through Peace of Mind, you're able to have some discounted vet care through our vet. Um, but we, so we take care of them full spectrum. We get a baseline on their health needs. It's all, you know, full transparency, whatever health conditions that they have or don't have. You know, we, we let that. Now, know. when that uh, animal, that, that 
dog mm -hmm. uh, leaves its owner, does the owner ever get to see the dog again? That's, yeah, I mean, they can if that's the agreement that they have with the future adopter, for with sure. With the future yeah. adopter. Boy, that would be so sweet. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. That's so great. Yeah. Because, you know, just that separation anxiety. I know, I know, it's a lot. When they're, when they're leaving and then they love that animal yeah. so much because yeah. they've had that animal as part of their life. For sure. And I kind of went through this with my aunt. Mm. Because she was concerned about what was going to happen to her dog yeah. if she passed before the dog did. Yeah. And fortunately, the dog passed before she did. And right. then when I said to her, Auntie, do you want another dog? She said, oh, no, no. Yeah. I no, I don't want to leave this earth. Uh, without knowing where my dog is. Well, we also have different programs that are very thoughtfully curated and planned by our wonderful founders and our community. Um, we also try to keep those dogs with that person for as long as possible. Oh, so we wow. do dog walking. We have our helping paws if they need um, any kind of care or food or medicine, anything like that. We also try to keep that animal happily with their owner as long Isn't as we wonderful. can as well. That is so yeah. wonderful what you guys do. Peace of Mind Dog Rescue. Dylan, will you put that page up one more time? And uh, how do they get to uh, Peace of Mind? Is there a phone number? Is that the email address? All of the above. Uh, yep. Follow on website. Instagram. You're on Instagram. We have Instagram. I believe there's a Facebook. You can call us. You Facebook. can email us. Facebook. You got us. them all down there. Look yep. at that. Dylan's Look at that. highlighting them all. We have a physical address too. You can walk into. We have a volunteer at the front. Is um, that your building that's on the picture? Is that a picture? That is. Is that in yes. PG? Yep. That is in PG. So you can't miss it. Right down Forest. There mm -hmm. it is. Yep. You walk well, right up there. Peace of Mind Dog Rescue. Now, is Carrie there? Because I met Carrie. She was also a guest on this show. I know. She's fantastic. She is there, hiding she's somewhere the that, in the back. She's the one that came <laughs> up with this idea, I think, here from, from yep. Monterey. Mm -hmm. She was. Her friend uh, was passing away and was concerned about what was going to happen with the pup. And, and that's she how that happened. took it. And wow. Peace of mind Peace was of born. Mind was born. Yep. And then Monica Rua came on and was like, they they collaborated and, and made it the magic How that it is. How did you get connected to Peace of Mind? Oh, wonderful question, Gary. I'm so glad you asked. So in 2020, my husband Noah uh, was celebrating the one year of his uh, anniversary of his shop, Harbor Light Tattoo. And for oh, the anniversary, good, good, good. nice plug, Get a plug huh? in there. Yeah. Harbor Light tattoo on the Brago. <laughs> uh, on a Brago, um, and so traditionally you do a tattoo event that's part of like the tattoo culture and that gets donated to a charity so he was like can you help me and i was like of course obviously put in dog charity uh -huh. and up came peace of mind i fell in love with them instantly wow and every year after we do the harbor light tattoo fundraiser that is a month long every march um and this is actually the last day of our fundraiser for this Today? year. Today, hopefully yep. March 31st. Uh-huh. Okay. Tomorrow, we, annou it's, we announce our winners. Tomorrow, we do a raffle. We do a tattoo oh, event. We wow. do a yoga and pups event. Wow. Yep. Taught by Jen Millington, who's an incredible yoga and fitness instructor so in the area. So much going on with you guys. That's why I was a little bit late today, Gary. Oh, you weren't late. You were right on okay, time. She well. was here in the parking lot when I drove up myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's how we found him. And then we started fostering Roman and which means I adopted him so it was a foster win and wow. I've done events for them we do our fundraiser for them the fundraiser that Adopted I attended at La Cañada uh, that was a huge group of people yep was that the third fourth fifth first what what oh man that's such a good question I should know that being on the board um, well but peace of mind so has been open well since 2009 organized. Yeah, they, it's a well-oiled machine. Well, yeah, that's it, our biggest fundraiser. We raise and hundreds lots of, of thousands people. of people. I was yes. impressed with your oh, yeah. attendance. Mm -hmm. The the live um, auction, the paddle raise is so so fun. Yeah, Great yeah. prizes. Did you win anything, you, or did no, you bet I, on anything? I didn't. Okay. I'm not uh, lucky. Yeah. I'm oh. Lucky. But you know, hey, but it was so much fun to be there yeah. because I had. At the table, mm -hmm. Carrie and her mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. but also the veterinarian that's on the staff mm -hmm. full time who's leaving. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kelly. Yes, She's I met a her. Gem. And then the new vet 
That Dr. Is, Aaron. Doctor, yes. She's I, amazing. She's amazing. Lovely. Such a we young have, lady, too, to be a veterinarian. Yeah, she's incredible. My goodness. <laughs> anyway, uh, such a wonderful evening there. So you remember when you hear Peace of Mind Dog Rescue again. In fact, next time you guys are going to do that event, uh -huh. we'll get somebody on the show mm -hmm. so we can promote it before. Yeah. Because, see, I didn't know. Maybe Carrie did promote it. I can't remember whether she did. Mm -hmm. But not in the way that I would like to have done yeah. it. Yeah, well, we have fun stuff happening all the time. So if you go on and sign up for our emails, we constantly have adoption events. We have an incredible community that supports us. Um, Day Tierra Winery has a wine called The Rescue Wine. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, and oh, they goodness. have uh, every quarter they donate a portion of the proceeds to a rescue, and they just announced Peace of Mind as um, their next beneficiary of the next quarter. Amazing. And so we're going to have some fun stuff coming up at DTR Winery in Carmel. Oh, great. So look out for oh, that great. as well. Yeah, that's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. Wine tasting yeah. at DTR. Yep, with puppies. Puppies and wine. Why? Yeah. What's better? <laughs> how, how great is that? Well, it's so much fun to have Kim Bartholomew here tonight as my co-host on show number eight zero, yeah. show number eighty. Don't know why we waited so long to get you here. I know. But before the dog rescue, peace of mind. I didn't know her. We just met a couple yeah, we weeks ago. Don't that. beat yourself up. Gary. Oh, I know. It's I'm so sad about that. Didn't meet you earlier because you could have been a host a long time ago. Well. But anyway, you're here tonight. Here now. And we're going to get you back, too. Yeah. Okay, it's time for us to take our 7 o'clock break. We do this every hour. We thank all of the people who bring us this show because they're our sponsors. And especially, we want to thank Heidi at Mountain Mike's Pizza over at Fremont and Broadway because they provide the pizza that we serve here in the green room thank you Heidi yeah thank you thank you Heidi and the pizza is delicious and everybody that has the Mountain Mike's pizza just loves it so anyway let's go thank our sponsors and they'll, we will be right back with more Carol King you know Dylan we're gonna have to change that coming soon sometime in April because Pop and Hiss is going to be opening on April the 20th 420 Okay, you get okay, that? Yeah, you get yeah, that? I'm, here. I'm arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Michaela Kenster came up with 420 as the opening day for her to open that pop and hiss. It's going to be a fabulous place. There's going to be vinyl records and a bar, full bar, and music and food and all kinds of fun stuff in Pacific Grove right across the street from the Grove Market. Pop and hiss. And I hope I can get Michaela back on here to talk about Pop and Hiss before they actually open. But Dylan, all the shows that we have done have opening soon. So uh, does that mean we have to go back and change all of that? <laughs> what are we going to do? Maybe we'll put a crawl or something on the bottom. Think, open now. I think if people are interested in going, they'll probably look it up and see that it's open. They'll look it up and see it's open. Yeah, they'll go to the website. In fact, I gotta find out if she's got a website. Well, go look and see if there's a Pop and Hiss website for Michaela. I, I'm, I don't even know whether she did that. Have you met Michaela? No. Oh, Michaela was a co-host, and I. Uh, not yet. Those not yet. Does it say? Does it? Oh, there is an Instagram. Yeah, Pop and Hiss. Pop and Hiss Instagram. Okay, so there you go. If you guys go on Instagram, you'll you'll probably get more information. There it is. Look at that. See. And they're getting ready. The floor is in. And, boy, it's taken shape. And look at that. It's going to be so great. And, um, you know, it's bringing a little bit of excitement to Pacific Grove. I, well, I don't <laughs> well know how much more excitement we need there. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty exciting already. Yeah, well, you know, there's, this lad. There's, there's a lot of fun things going on. I had the owner of Juice and... Uh, a job. Mm, uh, their Scott? green machine. Yeah. Have you had their he, green? Gee, you know what so I like? Good. I like the chocolate croissant at Juice and Java. Okay, well, I will Did have to try that? that. Oh, no. my goodness, it's that big. It's so good. Okay. When I go in for a cappuccino, I always have the chocolate croissant. Mm. And Scott was on the show, wasn't he, Dylan? Yeah. A couple of shows back. <laughs> 
Yeah. What, and, where uh, else do you like to eat? Oh, that's a good question. I'm really that's curious. That's a great question. You know where I generally end up for lunch? Where? Lala Grill. Which one? The one in the Del Monte Shopping okay. Center. Okay, and what do you get from there? Uh, the Caesar salad. That's what you, okay. I like the Caesar salad. All right, you yeah. frequent Lala's Grill. I do because, you know, you know, here's the reason that I frequent Lala Grill. They have booths. Okay. And a lot of booths. So no matter when you go in there, you can generally get a booth. Yeah. At lunchtime. And that's where I go sometimes. For, I have a business lunch there, you All know. Right. Some of my mm -hmm. guests before they're on the show. See, uh -huh. I should have had you. Yeah, I didn't get that treatment, well, but that's gonna, fine. You're going you're gonna to get, you're gonna get that treatment. All right. Okay. Yeah, you're going to get that right. treatment. Post. Yes. Post. Uh, <laughs> post host. Post Monterey on tonight <laughs> with Kim <laughs> Bartholomew. Sounds who is good. in real estate. Yep. At Monterey Coast. Coast. Realty. Realty. Dot com. Is your picture on the website? It sure is. Oh, let's go see. If no, we can. Yes, I don't. You know, find. honestly, I think come we... Come on. Let's Dylan, go. we don't have to do it. Yeah, come we on, don't. Dylan. Dylan. Let's go we see. Don't. Let's go find Kim on the Monterey Coast. Okay, let's Realty. do it. Let's, let's do go. It. We can. He's so good at this. Yeah, watch. It's watch gonna him come pull up it here. right up. He's going to pull it right up. Is this one of your best pictures yeah, on the website? I, huh? I don't know if I'd say that. Yeah, you well, tell me, Gary. All right. Let's Would go. you want to buy a house from this person? Uh, it, let, let me see the okay. picture. Okay. Let's see if I'd want to go. If not, buy I'm gonna. A house okay. From let's see. Scroll. Uh, oh, oh, a lot of people. There. You're on Carmel Realty, I think. Uh, oh no, there I am, Monterey Coast. Yep. Where are you? Right in the middle. Oh, you're in the middle. Smat there, there she is. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I kind of like you here tonight. Yeah. But that's a good picture. Oh, wait a minute. So that's you're saying you don't picture. like that? What? My hair was lighter. Yeah, it, was it was lighter. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. that picture was only taken last year. Oh, only last year? Okay. Well, so what do you I have think, to redo Dylan? my picture. Is that a good picture? What do you think, Dylan? Yeah. It's a good picture. Dylan, okay. would you buy a house from that person? That's right. He would. I'm telling you right now he would. Okay. We All just right. got to get him qualified. There we go. I don't think can we get him qualified? Sure, I've got a lender. We've got, <laughs> See that, got great Dylan? lenders in the area. Kim can get Shane you a Valente. house. Let's yeah, go. isn't it? But mom and dad are going to be very upset if you move out. Well, we don't want to do that. Yeah. We don't want to upset mom and dad. No, they're his parents mm -hmm. are wonderful people. His mom watches this show. Oh, when hi, we do mom. Their show. Say hi to mom. Okay, and. Um, and his dad mm -hmm. has been on this show as a guest. Aww. And you're probably not going to remember this because you're too young to remember. But many, many, many years ago, there was a big event on the East Coast that was called Woodstock. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It rings I saw, a bell, but I, I, I saw was the glaze not there. In your eye and I honestly you, didn't I know it was on the East Coast. Coast. It was on the East Coast okay. in New York. Mm -hmm. And Dylan's dad was there. I, at Woodstock. Did, That's his claim to fame. And he told you those yes, stories he, he was, here? He was right here, here on this show. Yeah, well, I, Dylan told me. Well, he also went on the stage. Though. And he was on the stage. Doing what? Uh, yeah, taking photos. Taking photos, oh. yeah. He just kind of stuck on stage. And oh. he was, and when he was there, he was only 19 years wow. old. Wow. Yeah. Well, and he's got a, he's got a t-shirt that says Woodstock. What year is that? In the 60s. It's iconic. Yes. It was an iconic event. And you don't know this either because you weren't around then, but there was a thing here in Monterey called the Monterey Pop Festival mm. at the fairgrounds in mm -hmm. 1967. Mm -hmm. And were you there? No. <laughs> I was around, though. <laughs> okay. But I wasn't at Monterey Pop. Okay. I wish I would have been. Are we going to have a Woodstock concert next? I don't think so. No. You know, Monterey doesn't want to do those kinds of things anymore because there were too many people mm. that showed up. And they're worried about having big crowds. Well, we, they still do Jazz Fest yeah. in Cali Roots, well, right? Right. But there's not that many people that mm -hmm. show. For, you know, they, they'll they mm -hmm. fill up the fairgrounds. But when they did Monterey Pop, people came from all over the world. Wow. For that. Yeah. In fact, I think they made a movie about Monterey Pop. 
Did they? What yeah. kind of artists yeah. were there? Oh, there was Jimi Hendrix. Oh, wow. And okay. Janis, J Janis Janis Joplin. Joplin was there. You see, you've heard of these people. Of course. You know, my dad exposed me to every kind there of music. Go. He liked that kind of music. Yeah. Me too. He's groovy. Groovy guy. He's got a groovy dad. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he should be a guest on uh, the you show. Know, you know, I don't know if you're ready for... Papa he's a, Cafaro he's to come Italian. through. He is. He's Italian. I hope you like I, to I eat. I love him already. He'll stuff you full of pasta and I make you laugh. I love him already. Yeah. Another Italiano. <laughs> like a me. Coca-Cola. Okay. So we got it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to thank. No, I forgot to thank Susie. She brought me a little basket of fruit. Look at this. Strawberries, boysenberries, grapes. Susie, thank you so much. And I forgot to thank you for my little gift of fruit. So good. And see what, what, what happens when you do this show? You get all kinds of goodies. Yeah, me for Gary Morris, the host of Monterey on tonight. Get presents. I'm having fun. Yeah. Are we having fun? We're having fun. I'm having fun. Okay, <laughs> time to go see some more. Carol King and I hope one of these songs kind of resonates with you. I'm hoping so too. Our, our, our no, I, I love it. I okay. love it. So let's go see some more Carol King. We've got a caller right now over in Hillmar, which is outside of Turlock, Modesto area, Merced area, right, Tony? Yes, I'm in Merced County. Merced County, and he's watching us on channel 16.1 over in Fresno which is our channel that runs this show 24 hours a day with all the Monterey on tonight's. You know, we're, Tony, we're also on channel 27.1 KKDJ, but I don't think that signal comes all the way to where you are. Because uh, it does occasionally because uh, I, I rescanned my antenna and I get 27.1 and 2, but there's just a blank screen on there. Ah. And that 27 did come in, but... Uh, well, you know, it's it, the 27 is a little further south than Channel 16's transmitter. So you're closer because you live in Hillmar. You're closer to Meadow Lakes where our transmitter is. That's kind of east, northeast of Fresno. That's why you get Channel 16. And that's why we're on Channel 16 because Gary wanted the people in Northern California to be able to see the show. But... The channel 27 is for the South Valley. So KKDJ goes south because they're over on Bear Mountain. That's where that transmitter is. So yeah, that's further away. Further away than where you are. But we're coming in loud and clear, I hope. Yeah, it pixelates a little bit. I can hear myself talking to you already. It <laughs> takes seven seconds. For yeah, me. there's the delay. So turn your sound down on the TV or you'll get confused. Yeah, the pretty girl's got her hand up by her face. But she yes. took it down she's now. Doing oh her, God, she's doing her hair right now. She's making sure that she <laughs> yeah, looks look good like for she's you. Looking at her palm or something. My palm. Oh. What am I, how many fingers am I holding up, Tony? I like that <laughs> dress you're wearing. That it looks nice. Like oh, thank dress. you so yeah. much. She had an open house today, and she was wearing this outfit to her open house today. Where was your open house today? In Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach, yeah. Tony. Mm -hmm. High-priced, yeah. high-priced real estate, Tony. Over in Pebble Beach. I got, what was I the ask? No, wait a minute, you. Tony. So, Tony, hold on. I'm going to ask her how much the house was that she had today over in Pebble this Beach. Was a bargain. It was a bargain. It's a bargain. At, at one? No, it's because it's a condo. Okay. One point three five Shepherd's Knoll. Listed by Jamal Norzoy and Renee Catania at Monterey Coast Realty and Carmel Realty. It is a 3,000 square foot. Big. That's I big. I mean, that's huge for 1.35. And it's a condo. Remodeled, gorgeous, ocean view. Realtors ocean view. But they're still an ocean view. You can see across the bay. Wow. Gorgeous um, forest. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I told you, if you haven't been over here, you have to come over and visit. Yeah, I plan on it. Well, next time I come to Monterey, I'm you come to Monterey. Hey, why don't you come on uh, April the thirteenth, and you can go to uh, Whale, Whale Fest. Fest. Mm -hmm. We're going to yeah, be down at Whale Fest. Awesome, Kim's going to come too. She doesn't know it yet, but she's coming to Whale Fest. <laughs> Right, Kim? I mean, I would love to. I just, I feel like I have an open house that day. <laughs> She's probably got an open house that day, so she can't come to Whale Fest. But you know what? I asked her earlier. You want to go out on the whale 
fishing Are on the boat. Are you telling secrets now? Yeah. Gary. And she says I she get would, a little sick, okay? She gets seasick. A little seasick. Yeah. It's not a big deal. No, it's Yeah, okay. probably that's what happened to me, too. Yeah. I went on. I don't know, because I've never been on a whale-watching boat, but I might get seasick, You're gonna too. You're going to go on the VIP whale-watching yacht, I'm gonna go, is what I'm going to go up on the whatever the deck it fin. is. Right. The black fin. See, you mm-hmm. remember. I was watching. She remembers the black fin. That's yep. the one. That's yep. the VIP one. Mm-hmm. Only That's, for they're the keeping best. a seat for me. <laughs> yeah, you got a boat that holds over a hundred people. The big one. The big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Tony, come on over here can... so we can meet you. We'll put you on the air. We'll take your picture and put you on TV. Because you're one yeah, of you my fans do. from the you San Joaquin do, Valley. Huh? You're my fan from the San Joaquin Valley, and I I'm so happy that you call this. And now we're going to make you a regular. How's that? When it's a hundred, when it's a hundred and five over there, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna say, "What's the temperature, Tony?" And you're gonna say, "It's a hundred and five, Gary." And I'm gonna say, "You know how, you you know what the temperature is over here right now in Monterey? Fifty-eight. Is it fifty-eight right <laughs> no, now? No. Yeah, it feels no. about right. Oh, maybe it is. It's fifty. It feels fifty-eight. <laughs> anyway, Tony, we gotta go play some more Carol King. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks for calling tonight. Bye, Tony. <laughs> Bye. 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 See, we get calls from. From viewers, gentleman. and that guy is all the way over across the mountains yeah. over in the San Joaquin Valley. Him and his antenna get this. Yes, he picks it up live. So, aww. or they can watch on the internet. Bless you know, you heart. can go see, you can go to your phone, Kim. Look, this is so cool. We couldn't have done this years ago, but you can just go. I use Safari and I put in KMBY TV, okay, into my phone, and then you go over here where this little button is and you press that. Ah. And here we are. See? Look, there Look, we oh, are. Where ha- what happened to us? Here we are. Let's see. It's all the way over across the mountains. Yeah. Over so. Him and his antenna get this. Yes, he picks it up live. So, oh. Or they can watch on the internet. That's you know, smart. you can go. See, you can go to it's your delayed. It's de- oh, it's okay. This is so cool. It's, I love it's, it. it's delayed. So that's all you got to do to watch this show. If you don't have an antenna, go on the internet. We stream it live. Every Sunday night. If you can't. Oh, and can I can I do a little plug for my radio show too? Uh huh. Okay. okay. So I was telling Kim earlier. I'm also on KMBY Radio now. On Saturday afternoons, I'm on from four to six o'clock. Gary Morris on KMBY Radio, from Cannery Row, and then on Sunday I'm on from two to four. So we're playing all the classic hits of the '70s, '80s, '90s, and beyond. On KMBY, 1240 AM and 95.9 FM. Gary Morris is back on the radio. (laughs) (laughs) It's so good. Yeah, we're having, are we having fun? Yes. We're having fun. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to go play a little bit more Carol King. And then guess what? It's 8 o'clock and then it's Wendy Brickman time. And we're going to find out what's happening from Wendy right here on the Monterey Peninsula. Dylan, take it away. You're watching Monterey on tonight. I am Gary Morris. I am here every Sunday night, even on Easter. Tonight is Easter here in 2024, and we're doing a show. In fact, Wendy said to me, are you going to do a show on Easter? And I said, sure, now because we need the content. We, because we're looping, all these shows are in the can, and they loop on TV 24 hours a day and on the Internet. So tonight we're doing another show Show number 80. 80. 80. Yeah. So we're doing more shows because, you know, except except I didn't do Oscar night. And oh, the reason I, I didn't, that, okay. I didn't do Oscar night because I wanted to see uh, Billie Eilish win for, what was I made for? Because mm-hmm. I love that song. Mm-hmm. In fact, you don't know this, but the night we played that song on this show, it made me tear up, and I started crying. Why? Well, hey, it got me. Dylan, Q. <laughs> not, not again. Not again. I'd like no. to see some tears. <laughs> not again. No, no, not again. Not again. But that, what was I made for, just got me. You know, the song from Barbie. And she won the Academy Award, as I predicted. She's fantastic. Isn't she great? Yeah, she's really, really talented. Very talented young lady. Anyway, okay, so now it's time for us to take our break, at our 8 o'clock break, and then Wendy Brickman will be here with us, so stay tuned, okay? 
And we are back with Monterey on tonight, and it's 8 o'clock, and every Sunday night at 8 o'clock, none other than Wendy Brickman of Brickman Marketing is on the phone. You know, actually, Wendy came to see us today. Yep. Mm -hmm. She actually came down to the studio, and she sat in that chair, and we got a picture. Dylan, I'm going to send that. Oh, there it is. Hey. Wendy, look. Looking look, look, so look. cool in her glasses. <laughs> there you are, Wendy. You're on TV. Yes. The real Wendy Brickman was here in the studio today. And that's what it would look like if you were on the air with me as a guest, Wendy. You that's could, right. You could do your whole thing right here from the studio, your gig. What do you think? No, can we, let's, can let's, we twist your arm? Wendy, no. please come down to no. the studio. No. Tell, no. tell. Tell Kim where where I've been doing the last three weeks is suffering from some kind of virus because yeah. I took off my mask at the Grammy Museum. They they went to the Grammys. Ago. So now the, I'm oh, so you ha you caught the plague. Yep. You she caught went, what's yeah. going around. There were a bunch oh, of little kids, right, mm -hmm. Wendy? Little kids at the Grammy Museum, mm -hmm. and yeah, you picked up something. Yeah, it was Grammy and the rap. It was the the hip hop exhibit was just transforming for them, but we were there for other exhibits. <laughs> yep, yep. Mm. We had a great time. It's a great museum, Kim. Oh, well, you I hope you feel better. Favorite. We hope you feel better, Wendy. I anyway, do. I do. That's why I have funny. a bunch of pictures in the computer tonight because I sent them for you to Dylan. So, Dylan, let's Thank pull you. up the first picture and let's see what you got. Oh, block party, it says. Block party. And a dance party. And oh. a dance party? Yeah, so art that's the Monterey Museum of Art. It's coming up this Saturday, April 6, 11 to 4. A uh, free day of art, inspiration, community spirit. Whale Fest will have a table. Wow. Okay. And in the evening, an adults-only 21 and over dance party will be held from 7 to 10. And that one's a cost of $25 fundraiser for the Monterey Museum of Art. Do you ever go there, Kim? It's a really great group of people. I you know I, I have uh, not. I, I, they need it, to buy houses or they need to sell their house, one or both. <laughs> is this over at the Stanton? Is this going No, be? this is on Pacific Street next to the Bonnery Civic, across from City Hall. Across Colton from Hall. City Hall. That's where this event is going to be. And on. then they close, I think they close Cali Principal. Oh, really? So that's this coming Saturday, yeah. This coming Saturday, coming which is... And they have bands. They, I don't know, I went last year, I don't know if I can go this year, but... They have bands. It's a block party. Remember block, block parties? Party, sure. Ear kegs. <laughs> I love block parties. Why not? Yeah. Do they I serve they liquor? Do they serve beer and wine? Probably food and drink vendors. Is that what you would like? Okay. No, you, I just wonder. Is that what you need to go? No, no. Oh no. yeah. Okay. I only, I only <laughs> drink Coca Cola. <laughs> I only have soft drinks. I'm not. I don't need any of yeah, that. Yeah, well, they have alcohol. <laughs> I know. When you get to be my age or your age. Yeah, we don't need it. The, I'm the on a hangover's worse than the high. Wendy, I'm on a natural <laughs> high. I don't need to go any higher. If I went any <laughs> higher, I would be in heaven. And I don't take okay. anything. We I don't, don't take any pills to get high. I'm on a natural no. high. No it's shame. Just me. Good idea. No shame. No shame. What other pictures do we got? Okay, what else you got, Dylan? Easter. Okay, this is Wendy and Easter. She's got a bunch of candy behind her. Mm. So that's Carousel Candies, founded in 1960, the sweetest place on earth. Wow. And there's three candy shops on the wharf. I know not why. But anyway. Three um, candy Christmas shops? Christmas Candies is owned by Liz Elves, and everything is made on site in the back. And they've been on the History Channel, and their, their candy is, <laughs> I mean, Really fantastic. Unfortunately, just fantastic. So there I am, and they put they package it with a little. It's a great gift for your clients. They have in this case they have little rabbits. Every holiday they have something, and the other candy stores are wonderful too. As president of the wharf, they're all wonderful. And the my oh. is the, the Belgian chocolate caramel corn. Mm. You know what? You just gave me a great idea. Right. You're dressing up as the Easter Bunny no, next no. year. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I won't be the Easter Bunny next year. But that candy store maybe can do some uh, bags of, of candy with the Monterey on tonight sticker on them, you know, or a logo. Your face. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we can give those and to I some of our her, guests. I booked her for June. That's cute. Yeah. Liz Elf. She's a great guest. 
Yeah. Who? There's this... a lot of candy with her. Yeah. Hey, are you looking at the kids? Yeah, we just saw the kids. Yeah. Yeah, we just saw. yeah they were first in line with the with the rabbit. The rabbit, the bunny. The bunny. <laughs> the bunny rabbit for it Easter. It was packed on the wharf, which was our goal. Yeah. And people, it's all decorated and beautiful, and it was fun. And I was there for lunch, and it was great. Guess who's on screen right now? A guy none other than Teeny Shake is on the screen. Yeah, Teeny was there. David Marzetti was there. I was at Cafe Fina. You know, Cafe Fina just got selected as one of the top restaurants in America, but also it'll be on Check Please, which is a Bay Area show. Wow. Cafe Fina is my favorite. Is one, yeah, the yeah. Yep. says Cafe Fina is one of the favorite. Roxanne makes the best Bloody Mary. Ooh. You will have. This girl you likes go ask Bloody Mary. Ask her to make you. I love Bloody Mary. Yes. Dylan, put that photo back up on the screen because I want to talk about the guy that's in that picture with Teeny. You see the guy on ah. the on the left there now. That Legendary. is that is the one, the only David Marzetti. And David, I have begged him and begged him and begged him. Please, David, come on the show. Come on Monterey on tonight on Sunday night and be my guest. And you know what he told me, Wendy. I do. <laughs> I feel like it's a no. It's a it's a no, but he has <laughs> it, but he has a good reason because I think he Not said really. for, you don't think it's a good reason. I think it's a good reason because he's I with think his. He could skip one week. He's with his buddies on Sunday night, and they've been doing it forever. And they play if cards. He can skip a week. They play cards, and that you can't. I mean. If it's a foursome and there's only three guys that show up to play cards, it, well, how do you know? How do well, you, I don't you get know. a replacement. I, I don't, don't know. know. I should call him up and ask him, huh? I'll, yeah. I'll forewarn him though. The, the next time we have this little session, we'll get David on the line. David, how come you won't come on the show and be a guest? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, well, hey, we're paisans. He's to play cards with his friends. He's a paisan. He should be coming on the show. Maybe you take Mike the show Murata, to him. I think. Maybe we take the show to him. That was a good idea, Kim. Uh -huh. Yep. Take the show to him. We have to record the segment. We'll go to David and record it. Oh, that's it. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. we could do that. Hey. 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 You see that? Now, this machine. girl is Just really smart. Just him out tonight. Why didn't I think of that? Go record it. Go we don't find love Zoom, David and record we don't it. Love Zoom. Dylan, we could do that, huh? Get our and cam Mike Marotta, too. He's Mike Marotta, camcorder. You know, I think Mike plays cards in that same group. I know he does. Uh, there you go. Hey, Wendy, did you know? Paisano. Wendy, I don't think you know this. May 10th, they've invited me at the Rotary at the Marriott Hotel to be the master of ceremonies with, with their big gala deal. Because the Rotary gets all the Rotary people together on one night. And so they said, Gary, would you be our master of ceremonies? Write it down, Wendy, May 10th. I think it's a Friday night or Thursday That'd night. That'd be fun for you. May Aren't 10th. you going to go? Yeah, but listen to this. You're going to love this. We're going to do a Tonight Show sketch. I'm going to be Johnny Carson, and I'm right. going to be Karnak. Remember Karnak? Right. The guy that would read the envelopes and know the questions yes. before the answers? I'm yes. going to have the turban. And I'm gonna, and we're gonna have an Ed McMahon who's gonna hand me the envelopes, you know, the Funkin' Wagnalls marinade jar since nine o'clock this morning. That that whole bit. You ought to come. You should be there that we'll night. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so I'll get you a ticket. You and Howard. Thank you. You know how <laughs> you can I come too. Oh wow! We'll have fun, but <laughs> we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna be Carson. Yeah, take him. I yeah. think I'm busy, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> she's some, for, she's for, something else. This one's something super else. Busy. <laughs> anyway, Wendy, what else do we have, Dylan? Any more pictures? Sure. Oh, we do. Who is this? This is from... Uh, is this La Marianda? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. La Marianda. That's coming up in June. June 1st or 2nd. What's that? Tickets. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got sensitive. the tickets. I'm getting That's a whole table. On the Monterey Peninsula. That's cute. The best party outside, which I love, in the memory garden. Yeah. Everybody oh, dresses wow. up in older costumes, old California, California costumes. Oh, and wow. tickets go on sale tomorrow to the public. Oh, well, I better Big get fake. my tickets before they sell out. 
Because I'm a member. Right. Well, you're on, yeah. And they have a cake adorned with roses, as you saw. Yeah. And the most important thing is that Chris Shake's fabulous chef, Chef Juan, coordinates all the food, um, and they have a feast. Wendy. Have Wendy, 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 I have been to a lot of events in my life on Earth, and there is nothing, right. nothing that compares to La Marianda. It is You're right. fabulous, just fabulous. And I'm right. going to serve the chili beans again. I'm going to be an executive server in the line. You know, when you come through the line to get your food, I'm going to be, oh, yeah, I'm going to be serving the chili beans. That's my job Yeah, as the executive very server. Very important yes. job. The Serving dog. the chili beans. You want some yeah, more? You, we, you, you, you want know, more, Wendy? You want, you want more when chili? When I moved here, there was no way you could go. When I moved here, it would sell out in a heartbeat. Now it sells out a little. It sells out, but it sells out a little slower. So that's why we're uh, allowing some of the public to come in. But. Well, it's it's one of the best events I have ever attended, and I've been on Earth a long time. So it's, okay. it's got to be one of yeah, the best. Well, I agree. It's really unique. Yeah. It's not like rubber chicken. I mean, no. Are you kidding uh, me? The food yeah, is fabulous. Yeah, and paella and fabulous. salmon and steak and chicken and five kinds of salad and sausage mm. and wine. And Write beer. it down. Write down La Marianda. Is it the second yeah. of June, Wendy? Look it up quick. First, of, first of June. First of June. It's a Saturday, first right? Saturday in June. First Saturday in June. Write yes, it down, folks. You will not be sorry. Very if... IT, folk, lo folk Lorico dancing, and David Marzetti. And, and David, David's the MC. Maybe that's where you can get them away from their poker game. Well, yeah, because it's a Saturday, so he doesn't have to worry about playing poker. And Gary on the chili. Yeah, yeah, what about your radio show? Are you going to get away? Oh, I record that, so it's no problem. Yeah. yeah I'll, 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 anyway, so I'll be on the radio. really great. It's a great event. Well, and Wendy. I think, what else did I have? Whale Fest. Well, for we covered, uh, there's Whale Fest the 2024. There's Western Flyer ship there. Do you see it, Dylan? The Western Flyer was. Is Western Flyer? There it is. Western Flyer is coming back. It's, it's coming, coming back. back. It's amazing to tour, but this time they asked you to pre register. Last time they had 700 people tour all day in November. So this time you go on to MontereyWharf.com under Whale Fest. Or you can even go to wellfest.org and you pre-register. There's links. Ah, great. And that way you could get a tour of the Western Flyer. Gary, you were there, but you didn't. I didn't go tour, on right? board, but I want to go on board this time around. Wendy, we got to yeah. wind it up because we've got our next guest out there in the green room, and we got to get him okay. on. We have uh, Marcus. Well, have a great night. Thank you so much for uh, being here at eight o'clock, as you are every Sunday night. Wendy Brickman from Brickman mm -hmm. Marketing, and we will be. Back right after another Carol King song with Marcus Edwards. All right, boy, oh Carol boy. King. Huh? Wow. How about that? This what a concert. Mind blown. Yeah, absolutely great music. What a great artist. Anyway, it's Monterey on tonight. I'm Gary Morris. This is Kim, Kim Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Time. Bartholomew. I love that name, Bartholomew. Thanks. Now, is that your stage name? Mm, it's my husband's name. Your husband's name. What was your maiden name? Cafaro, which is now my middle name. Oh, okay. So Italiano. Yes. Hey, Paisan. Okay. Now it's time for none other than Dylan Holmes, who's going to play the great new artists of today. Are they 23, 24, or 22, Dylan? Uh, I think they're all from 2024. 2024 artists. And they get millions of hits. Dylan, take it away. Tell us all about it. Yeah, Dylan, yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Mr. Dylan Holmes in the three videos of today on Monterey on Tonight with Gary Morris and Kim Bartholomew, Relator. Give your company a plug. Monterey Coast. Monterey Coast Realty. Carmel Realty and Carmel. You want to buy a house? You want to list your house? You get a hold of this lady right here. And she's going to be back. I don't know when, but we're going to have her back. I don't want to leave. Show. This has yeah, just I been know, too fun. Three hours. Can, you, can you believe three hours have gone by? <laughs> no, yes. No, I can't. Amazing. Anyway, we're going to play out with one more Carol King song because Carol King was our concert of the night. We'll be back next Sunday night. She asked me who's the concert. I said, I don't know. I got to figure it out this coming week. But stay tuned. 
KMBY-TV, KMBY-TV.com, channel 27.10, channel 16.1, and 27.1 in Fresno. And we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.